The Airedale breed originated around the 1840s and 1950s in Great Britain, or rather, in the Airedale Valley located in Yorkshire, after which it was named. Airedale Terriers were bred by crossing other terriers, red and Old English tan, but this is only one of the versions, and others, setters, retrievers, bull terriers and so on appear. The local dog breeders were engaged in crossing for a reason, they wanted to get a breed ideally suited for hunting otters and water rats. Airedale Terriers turned out to be just that, strong, fast and agile, and also quick-witted. As a result, they quickly began to spread, because more and more hunters wanted to have such a pet. It soon became clear that Airedale Terriers are capable of performing many other roles, up to and including a family pet, affectionate and kind, but able to stand up for family members if necessary. At first, the breed did not have its own name, and they were called differently, depending on the region of Britain. Then the Airedale continued to change. Experts believe that they have the blood of Irish dragons, otterhounds and basset griffins. Only by 1886 the name and standard of the breed were approved. By that time, the Airedale was already actively participating in exhibitions and was quite widespread throughout the country. By the end of the century, the breed began to be bred outside Britain, and at the beginning of the 20th century, it appeared in Russia. During both world wars, these dogs showed themselves brightly, both times causing a surge of interest in the breed after their end. They performed the roles of rescuers, orderlies, sappers, postmen, demonstrated devotion and fearlessness. Airedale. Description of the breed. Female dogs are shorter than males and weigh less, but the differences are insignificant, within 5 to 8 percent. The body of the Airedale Terrier is muscular, strong and hardy. They have a keen eye and a harmonious build, when looking at them, they do not seem to be too tall or too long. The breed standards are as follows. The head is small, the skull is flat and elongated, harmoniously merges into the facial part, the jaws are very strong, because of them the muzzle seems rather massive. The jawbone should not be overdeveloped. The nose is medium, the lobe on it is black, the eyes are rather small, it is desirable that the color of the iris is as dark as possible. A gray color is considered undesirable, small triangular ears. They should not hang or be too high, the neck is muscular, of medium length, the body looks compact with a flat top line. The loin is muscular and the chest is deep but not wide, straight legs, shoulder blades laid back. The thighs are massive, their muscles provide the ability to push off strongly with the hind legs. It was customary to dock the tail earlier, but now it is prescribed by breed standards to keep it. It should be longer than average and raised, the coat is hard and thick, with a short undercoat, it is much softer. Deviations from these norms are recognized as defects if they are very pronounced, disqualifying defects. There are a number of disadvantages that are immediately considered vices, among them. Malocclusion, eyesore, lack of undercoat, behavior deviations, excessive aggression or cowardice significant deformations in the dog's constitution. Popular colors of Airedale Terriers Popular colors of Airedale Terriers The standard for the breed is the black and back color. The background is ginger, with a black or grizzly colored saddlecloth on it. The neck, temples and ears of the dog are distinguished by a more intense red, turning into a reddish brown. It is acceptable that there are white stripes on the chest and between the toes of the forelimbs, but if there are such spots on the paws, then they are considered a defect, just like the asterisk on the animal's chest. Interesting fact, the black-backed color is due to the synthesis of pheomelanin instead of eumelanin in some areas of the cover, and, depending on the genetic characteristics of the pet, its color can change both in one direction and in the other direction, and it is difficult to understand from the puppy what it will be, they are born dark sometimes almost black. That is, some Airedale Terriers are dominated by red, and even there are blotches of red on the back, while others, on the contrary, are dominated by black, and red is noticeably less than usual. The manifestations of color variability are diverse, for example, the muzzle can be darkened to a greater or lesser extent, the same applies to the ears and temples. There may or may not be a collar on the neck, the tan marks on the body may be darker or lighter. Rarely are Airedale Terriers with a tan color and hair that is softer and longer than ordinary ones. The most desirable is the classic balanced version of the color. All the listed deviations from it are not welcome and are evaluated depending on the severity, but if you buy a dog not for exhibitions but as a pet, then the main thing is that its color is pleasant to you and does not meet the strict criteria of breed standards. The Nature and Habits of Airedale Terriers These dogs are characterized by cheerfulness and intelligence. At the same time, they demonstrate independence, sometimes turning into stubbornness, which is clearly manifested during their training. You will have to look for an approach to your pet and sometimes spend a lot of time to overcome its reluctance to cooperate. At the same time, Airedale Terriers must be trained well, otherwise there will be many problems with them. 
therefore, they should be chosen only by those who have already kept dogs, and not any, but belonging to breeds prone to dominance, because Airedale Terriers are very prone to it, and without experience they cannot be raised properly. Not every Airedale can learn to live in the same house with other pets. If they appeared before him, or when he was still a puppy, the probability is much higher, but putting a new pet in the same home with an adult Airedale is not the best idea. They can accept a cat or a dog of a non-dominant breed, but conflicts with another dog of a dominant breed are inevitable. With proper socialization, family members get along well. They are always happy if children want to play with them, but they differ from some other breeds in that they do not get away with excessive pranks. This must be taken into account, and the child should be taught to respect the pet because careless actions can make him very angry. If the child is too small to understand this, then you need to get a pet of a different breed. If the Airedale was the first to appear in the apartment, adults should always be present when the child contacts him. They are strongly attached to the owner and the whole family, but at first they consider everyone else to be outsiders, although they do not show aggression towards the guests, if they see that the owners accept them, they are simply wary. It is not difficult to make friends with a familiar Airedale Terrier, you just need to treat him kindly, but without undue familiarity. Interesting fact, despite affection for the owner, they can often show an obstinate disposition, trying to test it for strength, so from time to time they need to be put in place, showing rigidity, but in no case cruelty. Even shouting is not worth abusing. If you find an approach to the pet, then training will be greatly simplified, they are smart and are able to memorize commands very quickly. True, they train only when they want to and may lose interest in training right in the middle, it's hardly possible to force the Airedale to continue it. Among these dogs, one cannot find quiet and phlegmatic, so the Airedale will not get bored, but he also requires attention to himself, you need someone to play and communicate with him, otherwise he will start to be sad. It is extremely unprofitable to allow this, because in sadness he loves to spoil furniture, shoes, rip off the wallpaper and generally actively engage in sabotage. With a fighting character and a willingness to protect the owner, educated Airedale Terriers are not the first to attack people, they do this only if they themselves have demonstrated aggression. At the same time, they are always ready to drive cats around, but most often, only for the sake of sports interest, without bites. Interesting facts about the Airedale. You always need to keep an eye out with them, they are smart and inventive. For example, if the Airedale Terrier has the opportunity to somehow open the door to the kitchen, he will definitely do it, get into the lockers, and get himself something tasty. Since they were taken out to hunt waterfowl, they themselves are also good at and love to swim, and not only in warm, but also in rather cold water. If the Airedale does not understand the command or the exercise that you want to teach him for a long time, then in fact he understands everything perfectly. He's just pretending to be bored and not wanting to exercise. Therefore, repeating the same thing more than three times is not worth it, it is better to just stop the lesson. If you keep repeating, he will start to like the persuasion itself, which will be reflected in further learning extremely badly. Instead, try a different approach to the learning process next time, so that your pet gets carried away with it. And start training as early as possible, before he gets a little cunning. Airedale Terriers are distinguished by a pronounced sense of possessiveness, no matter how well the pet treats you, he will not give up his things and will stand for toys to the last. Sometimes he may also like someone else's toy, and if he decides to appropriate it, then it will also be very difficult to return it. And they like to appropriate, next to their couch, or in the booth, many different toys and trinkets can be found, on which they laid eyes, and then they mysteriously disappeared. Therefore, if something useful disappears, the first suspect is usually the Airedale. During the First World War, many Airedale Terriers distinguished themselves, and the most famous among them was Jack. He brought messages to the headquarters from the battlefields, overcoming the most difficult terrain and not being afraid of artillery shelling. Jack was wounded more than once, but continued to work until his death, he died of his wounds after delivering the last message, which saved the battalion, and he received the Victoria Cross, a British award given for heroism. Pros and Cons of Airedale Terriers like any dog, the Airedale has strengths and weaknesses, and it is worth weighing them carefully before buying it. Do not be guided only by appearance, and do not expect that the pet will adapt to your character, within certain limits, he will do it, but he will not be able to completely change. Pros of the breed. Intelligence and good memory, during training, the pet is able to quickly memorize commands, and in difficult situations it can make the right decision much faster than the owner. Thanks to this, Airedale Terriers make good working dogs. Devotion and fearlessness, the pet is always ready to fight for the owner, even if the balance of forces is not in his favor. There are many known cases in which wounded Airedale Terriers defended their owners to the last. Emotional stability, a well-bred Airedale will not have outbursts of aggression, it does not just attack a person. 
True, this does not apply to animals, here instincts lead him. Treat family members well, the Airedale is usually cheerful and happy to keep company. Cons of these pets. Willfulness and stubbornness, because of these qualities, raising a pet can be difficult, and even after it has been trained, sometimes it suddenly loses interest in completing the owner's tasks and decides to go about his business. It is very difficult to convince him in such cases. Too active, he requires a lot of attention, and it's good if the family has someone to play with him every day. If you do not pay enough attention to the pet, he will start to get mad in every possible way. Time is also needed for his training, they will have to be spent, not only with a young dog, but also with an adult, the need to take care of the coat, regular combing and trimming are required, and it is better to hire a specialist for trimming. Hunting instincts often prevent him from getting along with other pets, in addition, neighbors may be unhappy that he chases their cats and dogs. Breeding of Airedale Terriers If your pet has an excellent or good rating, then you can try breeding. Males can be knitted from 15 months, female dogs from 18 months, but you should not rush too much, it is better to wait until they are 2 years old. In general, you should approach the issue of breeding responsibly, and remember that the Airedale is not one of the most popular breeds. This is important for two reasons, firstly, it is not so easy to find a pair for mating a pet. If you live in a big city, of course, there are a dozen candidates, but you also need to choose a suitable one, and in small cities the problem of search is much more acute. Secondly, it is not always easy to attach puppies, even if they meet all the breed criteria. Be prepared that some of them will stay with you for a long time, and many of them are born 10 to 13 puppies are not uncommon. They will be very noisy and active, and will definitely turn everything in the house upside down. Growing them will also take a lot of effort, puppies need to be especially carefully looked after, vaccinated and fed six times a day, only mate if you are ready for all these tests. Before her, you need to remove the worms from the pet and conduct an examination. Pregnancy lasts two months, and that the mating has brought the result can be determined by the lethargy of the pet. In the fourth week after mating, pregnancy may show an ultrasound scan. During pregnancy, it is required to revise the dog's diet, taking into account the recommendations of the veterinarian, and before giving birth, it is better at least a week in advance to prepare a draft-protected and shaded place. Airedale Terrier Care These dogs are very active, therefore it is undesirable to keep them in the apartment. They must spend a lot of time on the street in motion, and simple walks for an hour